Are you considering a move to the Lake Tahoe area? Well, today we are going over my absolute favorite restaurant in Carnelian Bay that you need to know about, so stay tuned. What's up everyone? This is Rachel Capel with the Lake Tahoe Living Channel. If you want to know what it's like living in the Lake Tahoe area, this is the channel for you. Make sure to subscribe, click the like button if you're getting value, and reach out to us if you have questions because we absolutely love helping families and people relocate to the Lake Tahoe area. All right, let's get into this video and why I absolutely have to share with you my favorite restaurant in Carnelian Bay, Garwoods. I think it is amazing and I'm going to go over all the reasons why I love it and why you need to check it out if you're ever going to Carnelian Bay. All right, reason number one, it's absolutely gorgeous. This restaurant is nestled right in front of Lake Tahoe, so you're going to have lake views and it's gonna be super pretty and gorgeous while you're dining and you'll be able to relax and have fun and check out the lake in the background. You'll absolutely love it. Number two is the drinks are absolutely delicious. I love them, they're super strong. They're all different names, Wet Woody, Wet Willy, whatever, <laughs> like totally inappropriate and um, not PG friendly, but they're delicious, they're strong, and they will get the job done with just one drink. So I love it for that reason. <laughs> Number three, the food is really delicious as well. There are a lot of different you know, things to choose on the menu. I am a creature of habit. If you know me, I love to eat the same thing because I just, if I like it, I like it and I get scared to like try something and it's not as good. But I have had, and you can kind of see in the B-roll, some of the shots of the food. We celebrated my birthday here. So my friends well, all went and we had a great time eating all the different entrees from the menu. My personal favorite is the lobster bisque. I just think it is like the best lobster bisque you could ever have. I've never tried anything better anywhere. And I don't know what they do. It probably just put a lot of butter and cream in it, but it's so good. It's a great meal. You can eat it as a meal, maybe get like a salad or appetizer. Uh, but the things that are also really good are the pastas. I've had the pork chop pretty good. The french fries are really good too here. They kind of fry them extra, I don't know, they're just really good and tasty. The steak was good, the prime rib, and the desserts are all really good too. So just go eat, take a look at the menu. You cannot go wrong with the lobster bisque. I think the pork chop is pretty good and the steak, the pastas, ask the waiter and they'll totally tell you all the details. So yummy, yummy food. All right, number four is you have to make sure that you make a reservation here. Now during the winter, it's a little bit less packed because it's cooler and the summertime is like when everyone goes, but you definitely want to make a reservation because uh, we wanted to be on the water. And I'm not sure what happened, but we didn't get to go on the water because this restaurant has like two levels and then there's um, an outside that you could sit on the patio. So if you want to be on the patio, which is actually really nice in the summertime. I would highly recommend getting reservations like well in advance. Like I think we booked out a reservation to be safe a week in advance. So we were up top, beautiful view, got a little bit warm. There's a lot of people there. I mean, I think they had served like a thousand meals by the time we got there at like 6.30, <laughs> it was crazy. So it gets really, really busy, but it's because a lot of um, people come here because the views. And to my next reason, number five, the celebrations. It's a great place to have celebrations. I think there was a wedding here when we were here um, that night. And there's also like bachelorette parties, birthday parties, you know, we had my birthday there. so. I would definitely, you know, know that you come here kind of to have celebrations and they are always, always, always busy in the summer. You cannot get away from it a little bit better in the winter, but just know that it's a great place for celebrations. All right, number six, after dinner or before, if you're waiting, definitely check out the pier because it is so pretty. You can even watch the sunset there. We went after and it was really fun. We were able to go check out the water. It's kind of dark, but if you go before it gets really dark, it's a really pretty view and I definitely recommend it because it's on the, on the water and it's just absolutely beautiful. And my number seven, is check out the sunset because you can see, like I mentioned before, you can see it from the restaurant, from the pier, wherever you are. It's really pretty. And a little side note is the beach at Carnelian Bay allows dogs. So if you have dogs, go and bring them on down and let them do their thing and just have some fun. 
All right, so there you have it. My absolute favorite restaurant in Carnelian Bay. We love Garwoods. We love the drinks. We love the atmosphere, the ambiance. The waiters are great. They have these cool ties that are totally inappropriate, but it's all fun and food is really good. So I think it's something that you should definitely check out if you're ever in the Lake Tahoe area, Northern Tahoe kind of in that Gar Carnelian Bay incline area, even Truckee, you know, um, Homewood might be a little bit far, but definitely check it out. And if you are looking to move to the Lake Tahoe area, we have everything here, lake living, fun, hiking, playing, dining, all the things. So the only thing that's missing is you and your beautiful new home, your new vacation home, primary, rental, whatever it is, we got you covered. So reach out, all the information should be popping up. And until next video, thanks for watching and I hope you got some value and we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.